Hello, 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 everyone. I hope everyone is having a good day today. We are here. This is ISS EDU Learn. Ask me anything. We are here live at the NYC job fair. So ISS has the job fair. We have a whole bunch of candidates and recruiters coming in in order to just have a conversation or even to get a little job offer around uh, international school positions. So what I'm trying to do here is showcase uh, a whole bunch of the schools that are here and actually looking to require uh, uh, hire uh, various candidates. Uh, so we have our first interview here. So I'll let these guys kind of in, uh, introduce themselves. Uh, but I know that I may even want to go to to this small place that they may be at. So if you are an intimate type of individual, this may just be the school that you want to because there's a variety of international schools out there. And if you're not well versed, well, maybe today we will get you first. So without further ado, we have the first interviewees here with us today. We have Matt and we also have Sarah. So guys, please let our listeners know where you guys are coming in from. Thank you, Mike. Okay. Let's Sarah go. All right. Good morning, everybody. Glad to see you here. So um, we work at the International School of Algiers, the American International School of Algiers. It's a very small school, but it's got the biggest heart in the world. Um, we have 40 students in a joyful learning environment. What can I say? You'll hear more about it. Uh, I am the interim head right now. Uh, the previous head, the founder of the school, um, passed last year, and so I'm here to carry the school on to Mr. Matt Hillhauser, who will be taking it on next summer. And Matt and I have been working very closely all year. We're very excited about our transition process because we're truly a team in carrying this school forward. And yeah, I'll let Matt introduce himself. Wow. All right. Matt Holzhauser, I'll be the incoming director at uh, the American School, American International School of Algiers this coming fall. So we, I really will highlight, Mike, you'll lead the conversation, but I would like to highlight how we've sort of that transition as Sarah's been interim this school year, and I was hired on, uh, I think in October of 2023, and we've really been collaborating very, very well, uh, making sure that kind of the seamless transition. So I think it's a good model for uh, that is transitioning for for head of schools and those pieces. So look forward to highlighting that as well today, Mike. So, all right, thanks for very much for the uh, opportunity to chat with you today, Mike. Yeah. And if you are here today and you would like to interview with us or even later, you'll find that you interview with both Matt and myself. We've been doing everything together all year that yeah. matters. And obviously staffing is the most important thing. Who's on the team and the relationships we have with that. And so- Well, speak yeah, more I'll about that. Go more. a little bit deeper on the relationships that you guys, like the school culture. It sounds like you guys are, you know, the teachers have a relationship with each other, some sort of respect. So can you just speak a little bit about the school uh, community or the school's culture uh, that you guys have going on there, whether it's for the teachers or the students or the parents? Sure. Um, yeah, well, Judith, the previous director, always said that when you step through the gates of the school, you enter America as it's supposed to be um, and the world the way it's supposed to be, which means that people are kind, they're empathetic, they're leaders, they're creative, and they're having a lot of fun because truly we believe at ASA, if you're not having fun, then you know, you're just not going to learn. And obviously we need a school, as Roland Barth said, a great school is one where everyone's learning. So that's the students, the teachers, the parents, the board, the community. And yeah, we're on that road. I think what uh, parents trust most about the ASA, the American International School of Algiers, or any school for that matter, is uh, a warm, welcoming environment where all adults know the children, know the families, and know exactly where they are in their learning trajectory. So meet that child where they are and move them on. Uh, and oftentimes you'll find out in our American and international schools that uh, families can be somewhat transient, maybe one, two, three years moving on. But as, as we welcome those families, however long they're with us, hopefully their whole school career, but if not, we, we get to know them quickly, meet them where they're where they need uh, need to be academically, socially, emotionally, those pieces, and, and create that bond. And if they're going to transition to another school, then they have all the academic skills and, and readiness to, to move on to that next post if mom and dad or whatever the structure is moving on. So it's a it's an excellent staff. 
we they work well together and I think creating that environment and welcomes the kids and they feel comfortable in learning and and flourishing as as they do as well. Could I ask an additional question in regards to the this DEIJ, you know, buzzword quote unquote mm -hmm. that's been going around? Um, so just you know, how are you guys in, in your management school um, incorporating that? And then you can speak on any math, whether it's on the school level, uh, school wide level, on the teacher classroom level, or in the parent uh, parent in the community level. So, sure. Mm -hmm. Well, I would have to say that it's a, a similar answer for all of those um, stakeholders, and because it's all about relationships. Uh, I've never been in a school where there was so much care taken to develop relationships with everybody in the community. So. Mm -hmm. Um, DEIJ is it really is it's, it does it's not an, a separate something it's it's the way we live it's the way we work together it's the way we are together that everybody who walks in is a valid member of the team I'm I'm school director but I don't believe in hierarchies I believe in networks mm -hmm. and we all have a role and we're all working together and you can feel that the kids feel respected the kids um, yeah they respect each other they work really well together it's I've never been in a school that's so openly caring and cooperative. What force is um, that? Like what what exactly well, what are they seeing? What are they feeling throughout okay. the day? Yeah, so so one of the things is that we have traits, school traits that we all try to emulate. So that's being cooperative, respectful, responsible, empathetic, yeah. compassionate. Yeah. yeah. And so, you know, if Matt sees me doing something that's empathetic or responsible, he'll put it on a leaf, a, a, a paper leaf of a tree, put my name on what I did. And then in the office or in the front hall, there's this big tree and we all put leaves up there. Uh, and so uh, a kindergartner can give it to another kindergartner. I can give it to anybody. Somebody, and so everybody is empowered to support each other in doing these mm -hmm. um, kind gestures or responsible gestures. Uh, okay. so, so it's, been, it's visible. Yes, exactly. Yeah. No, no, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> Especially the tree and everything and as it grows up, it's like the tree is, is, is growing yeah. as well. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, and it's the heart of our logo, which you'll see is this an olive tree, mm. which represents peace. Also. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That's very We cool. also really very do believe in fun, and you have to be intentional about having fun. It's not enough just to say you're going to have fun. So every month we have a spirit day. So we have dress like a pirate day, and the whole school dresses as a pirate. And then we do a group picture, and we kind of do activities. Right. Um, right. You know, we have crazy suck day. We had dress, Algerian dress day. We um. have... Um, twin day. So, and then on those days, the parents join us um, and bring us lunch, and they dress in whatever style we demanded. Right, right. Well. <laughs> and so there's a true, um, yeah, community feeling in in terms of laughter. You'll find there's a lot of laughter right. in school, and we're also serious in in learning. I I would just add that we have to be intentional about teaching those character traits to foster that sort of, and I maybe put a pin in the DEIJ for those of folks don't exactly know or have well versed in that. So it's mm -hmm. diversity, equity, inclusion, and justice, making sure that everyone who comes through our gates, anyone, community member, student, mm -hmm. staff member, new potential guest, we treat them with honor, respect, and we want to include them in our community and treat them fairly as we would treat everyone. And so with children you need to be very intentional around teaching those character traits, mm -hmm. one another, peer to peer, staff to staff, peer to staff, those pieces, making sure that we're modeling. So when we go out into our world and go home and interact in our other communities, we make sure that we're modeling that same sort of behavior, hopefully changing um, patterns of societal pieces moving ahead. That's what our hope is. At the time wind down, I guess I just have one last question for you guys, and especially in the age that we're in, you know, and you know, what did they say? I was an AI I think I'm a millennial. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like you are. yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> and that's Sarah and I are not. <laughs> let's, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> so, with that being said, there's something that definitely is um, a big difference between um, the ages, and that's technology. You know, and as we go. Further down the line in the future, I feel like it's just going to be sped up, and especially with something like AI and things like that, you know. So, with technology always advancing, how how much do you are you guys open to the impl uh, implementation of new technology as it comes out? 
whether it be AI or in the future with something else that's going to, we don't know what's going on, you know, but how do you, how open are you guys to that? A hundred percent, a hundred percent open. Our children are children of the world more than really anybody in a, um, the, our kids travel and technology is what keeps them connected mm -hmm. you know my kids were in in shanghai and tokyo when they were little and even though technology was just beginning they're still friends with their friends mm -hmm. thanks to social media thanks to the capacity to talk to others mm -hmm. um matt and i played with ai um chat bot yesterday we, and because we wanted to make a survey and it did a pretty good job obviously we're gonna have to touch it up but yes. um yes. yeah matt but, will be leading the school forward but right now we're wide open i think you know, mike that. mike as you uh, as you talk about being a millennial i think you're you're a digital native, and obviously we, we have a preschool to eighth grade uh, clientele or student body right now, and they're already well digital natives. It is our job as schools to make sure that we infuse the technology through all the learning, because that is the reality. We don't want a scenario where kids are coming to school and somehow it's a different format than really what they're interacting. So we want to engage and model what is going on around us, as Sarah says, harnessing AI or social media or other pieces to stay connected, but there's all sorts of unique opportunities for technology to enhance learning. And obviously that's the goal around whether we're using tablets, Chromebooks, and there's a balance. So it's not all technology. It's all not all screen-based because there's a lot of merit and benefit to quote unquote old school books, interactions face-to-face, eye-to-eye with one another. So we infuse in a, a nice balance across the day and across the week to make sure that we're gaining the digital skills we need to enhance learning, but also blending that with other um, traditional models as well. Wow, that is yeah. We continue to develop relationships through all tools, face-to-face, person-to-person. Mm -hmm. Really nice to be with you guys this morning. Absolutely. And via technology, keep it in touch. I love that. That's that, that hybrid world. That's exactly, that's the only way to keep it going. Yeah. I don't you see. <laughs> hybrid, the hybrid world. That's yeah. exactly where you're headed. So thank you guys so much for your time. I know our time is winning down. I'd love to sit here and chat with you a little bit more, but right. I have other interviews that we have to kind of prep for. But just let the listeners know exactly if they are interested in more information regards to tuition or maybe just to see the website to get a little bit more information about the mission of the school where can they go to find oh we have a website um www.aisa at a um at asalgiris.org just google it you'll see the american international school of algiers will pop up and we're glad to answer any questions and and come visit us if you can i mean we're certainly here at the fair today. We'll be at the tables downstairs for sign up, and we're in the hotel. So yeah. Sarah Putnam and Mike Mapplehauser. And for those who don't know, where's the country? Oh, you guys. Yes, oh. we're in Algeria. So those are maybe sort of not geographically uh, wise with that northern part of Africa yet. So we're kind of in between Morocco and Tunisia on that um, uh, Mediterranean coast. So very North Africa, right in between Morocco and Tunisia. And um, yeah, the land, so it's the a, land of citrus and olives. <laughs> citrus, it's a wonderful country, Mediterranean climate, warm people, uh, French, Arabic, and English spoken in the country. And uh, it's a great little school and looking to grow even more as I uh, gain leadership there this fall. So join us, stop by the table if you see us. We're actually just two tables in at the um, uh, ballroom as you come in so you can't miss us give us a shout and we'd love to chat with you looking for an elementary teacher and a middle school teacher so if that fits your bill you'd be interested please come talk to us thank you so much guys today for your time thank uh, you Mike. listeners you know this is our first interview so please go ahead and check the Algiers school out and we'll be back in about uh, 15 or so minutes with our next guest so educators Hold on, we'll be back.